of the game really being meaningful. Things that, you know, a strikeout was a bad thing. You strike out in a game, it's embarrassing. No hitters don't care. They strike out four times, whatever. I swung for the fences every time. Tomorrow I'll come and I'll do the same thing and I'll hit two home runs and make up for it. So I thought about that with this no hitter. I'm sure in San Diego, among Padres fans, it's 
It's an iconic night. It's a night you won't forget. But for a big faction of not only people inside baseball, but for the, fa the fans themselves buy into this. No hitters don't matter. What's so special about a no hitter if you walk a guy or hit guys or you know, there are base runners? What difference does it make if they get a seeing eye single to right field or got walked on five pitches? Justin Rowe is still atop the leaderboard at seven under par, currently even through five, one shot ahead of Mark Leishman and Will Zalatoris, who are tied at six under. Corey Connors, Deki Matsuyama, and Justin Thomas are in a three-way tie at five under, all two shots off the pace. Over to baseball, quick check of the afternoon scoreboard, top of the eighth, Mariners and Twins are tied at two. Top seven, the Brewers lead the Cardinals 3-2. Bottom one, the Rockies and Giants are scoreless, and no score between the Astros and A's in the second. Earlier today, the Marlins shut down the Mets 3 0. Jazz Sism Jr. had a solo shot, the second off Jacob DeGrom, who takes the loss by striking out 14 over 8 strong. Trevor Rogers fired six scoreless innings for the win. In the race length, the Yankees 4 0. Francisco Mejia and Randy Rosarena both homered off Domingo Armand, who will have four runs on eight hits over four. Chris Archer started for the race, but left the game after two and a third with tightness in his forearm. The Royals and White Sox are rained out in Chicago. They'll make it up with a seven inning doubleheader on May 14th. Over to the hockey scoreboard, one game in the books. The Stars skated past the Panthers 4-1 and one game in progress. Late third period, the Flyers played the Bruins 3-2. There are seven games in the NBA tonight.